Well, it does not matter. We have not given us any any um, conditions to wear, but it has got to be transparent. Um, I'm not uh, keen to have a private, secretive uh, rendezvous. Uh, it is better to have a transparent, open meeting, inviting all uh, party leaders uh, from the end and from Pakatan in a friendly, uh, conducive atmosphere. The purpose is because we do recognize the sliding uh, economy, the precarious uh, relations, uh, racial and religious concerns, partly instigated by certain quarters, the um, concern over the increasing threat to you know, public safety and security uh, due to uh, crime, an increase in crime uh, rate, and uh, of course the concern about the lack of resolve, lack of leadership in dealing with these issues, including uh, somewhat condoning or tolerating uh, endemic corruption in this country. Yeah. Okay. Does it mean that you guys are proposing a unity government? No. We are saying there is a need to have an open engagement on issues. This is done in any democratic country. In the House of Commons, the Prime Minister table, the discussion on the Syrian crisis, the opposition opposed, the government lost its vote. Uh, the, the, the tradition, democratic tradition must be in place. Now, unknown leaders must not think in terms of the old mindset that they are the masters of all. They must recognize the fact, whether you like it or not, that the majority of the population in this country, by sheer numbers, have said, we want a change. Now, the least we are asking for now is, we must be heard. And there must be a fair exchange. And I can assure Prime Minister Najib, there's going to be a reasoned discourse, a conducive environment in this sort of exchanges. But I don't think that we go and talk in terms of uh, national government. I mean, policy issues, economic issues, crime. Let us listen and get uh, going on these programs. Okay?